Hey everybody, this is Kathy. I am uh, doing a home assessment today. Sorry about the lights. I'm going upstairs because I want to show you something in this bedroom here. So this is the baby's bedroom and we've got a baby monitor. So I've got my Safe and Sound Pro 2 here. And I just wanted to show you what kind of readings we're getting off of this. So, all right, so next to the monitor, I'm at 90,000. Close to 90,000. Uh, now remember, we want our um, readings under 10 microwatts per square meter, ideally. So obviously that's way, way too high, especially in a baby's room. Now here's the crib, and I'm significantly lower as we get away from it, which is great, but I'm still between two to 5,000, which is way too high. So there are better baby monitors out on the market. I have not tested them all, but there are some that claim to be low EMF, which I hope is true. And some parents choose to not use one altogether. But I will leave some links below to the ones that claim to be EMF, low EMF. Again, I haven't tested them, but I, if I was gonna use one, I would definitely try it out. So beware, beware. And if you use a baby monitor, please test it um, because they can be pretty hazardous to your child's health. And of course, that's not what we want at all. So I hope you found that helpful. Hit the subscribe and the like and the bell and all the things and leave any comments, questions, concerns below and we'll see you next time. Bye.